Hey y'all, it's Kitty, and today I want to show you my weekly makeup basket. I started doing this last week, and having the basket with the products in it for the week really helped me um, use some products that I hadn't used in a while. How do I want to do this? Okay, here is this week's basket. Some of it is repeats from last week, and I want to show you... Um, I want to kind of give a little mini review of some things I had in last week's basket. One of the things I had in last week's basket was this Murad um, Intensive C Radiance Peel. It's a little mask that's supposed to, what's it supposed to do? Treat and repair. This was really, really nice. The main effect I noticed from it is it made my face really bright. Uh, so I liked that and I may purchase the full size. I also used this Corez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. This stuff was awesome. Two downsides though. It, sorry my cat's here. It, um, it stung slightly on the face when I put it on but I have very sensitive skin and it smells funny. Even though the smells funny, I kind of like it. What it reminds me of is a jar of 30 year old cold cream. It's got a weird old cold cream smell. I uh, use this every night this week when before I went to bed and it my, I woke up and my face was just soft and bright and looked really nice. So yes, and this is the full size, but when I'm done with this, I will purchase it again. Okay, the other thing, another thing I had in last week's basket was this NARS powder. Um, since it's winter, I didn't use it, don't need it, so I'll save that for summer. Um, I'm not going to really review the lipsticks because, honestly, I've never found a lipstick I didn't like. I'm very careful to purchase colors I like, and I've honestly never hated a lipstick. So the lipsticks were awesome from last week. I've... My eyeshadow from last week was this Lorac Pro, the second one. And um, these were really nice eyeshadows that performed well. I have super oily lids. They didn't crease. They stayed on all day. Yeah, really, really nice. Uh, the mascara I had from last week was this Origins Ginseng. This really should be getting more love on YouTube. Nobody talks about it. Uh, this is a wonderful mascara. And Origins makes really nice uh, products for the skin. So yeah, this is a really nice mascara. Okay, I had these two eyeliners. I had a L'Oreal one and a YSL one. The L'Oreal one um, performed just as well as this high-end one. Th the reason I bought this high-end one is because the color was so unique. Um, it's kind of an alternative to black. It's called Black Cherry. So that's the reason I purchased that one, but the L'Oreal one from the drugstore is just as beautiful. Okay, I told y'all I was gonna be testing to see which um, eye primers I liked more. So last week I tested the Lorac versus the Fergie Wet n Wild. This is expensive, this is not. This worked way better than this did. Yeah, the drugstore Fergie Wet n Wild one is an awesome um, eye primer. I had a tiny bit of creasing with this one, not a whole lot, but I had zero creasing with this. So this one's going in this week's basket. Okay, now for this week's basket. I'm gonna keep my Maybelline Age Rewind foundation. The reason I'm not rotating in anything new is I'm almost done, and this is getting kind of old. So I wanna use it up before it goes bad. This is a beautiful foundation. This is an alternative to that Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation that's expensive. This looks identical to it, so it's really beautiful. And this week's, this week's eyeshadow is this Makeup Forever palette. These are weird eyeshadows. I've used them a little bit. They have a strange texture, but they're really beautiful. 
and I like to apply these wet and I can even apply them wet as an eyeliner so that's this week's eyeshadow I'm also gonna try this Revlon photo eye ready thing I know it's more of a summer color but I don't care and then I have this other eyeliner I'm gonna use this week Okay, there's a story behind this one. This is a red eyeliner. And it's a uh, Makeup Forever. I have been searching for years, like 20 years, for a red eyeliner. And I think the reason you don't see a whole lot of red eyeliners, in fact, this is the only one I know of, is I think the pigment is hard to get right to be safe for around the eye. This is completely unflattering but I don't care, I wear it anyway. I like red and it looks beautiful, I think. And no, I do not ever get any compliments on it. People just say, is that red eyeliner you're wearing? Yeah, I like it, that's all that matters. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna be using this Fergie Wet n Wild primer and I'm gonna pit it against this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So we'll see which one does better. For mascara, I'm going to keep continuing to use this Dior Show Maximizer for underneath mascara. This really makes a difference. It's beautiful. I don't know that it's worth the money. Maybe I'll decide later. And I'm going to use it with the Clump Crusher. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. It's really beautiful. Not really good at volumizing. That's why this one is so nice with this uh, plumper thing. This Benefit Gimme Brow. I didn't use it at all last week, so it's staying in this week's basket, and maybe I'll do something with my brows. Maybe not, but I'll try. This Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Under Eye Concealer, didn't use it last week, have no idea what it's like, so I'm putting it in this week's basket again. My problem is, is I like to sleep in so I wake up and I don't hardly have any time. So things like brows and under eye concealer tend to fall by the wayside, but I'll try. Lip liner, because I'm kind of going for bold eyes this week, I'm just gonna use this Palladio Precision Eye. I'm just gonna use this Palladio Herbal Precision, Herbal Precision Lip Liner in Salmon. And I've used this before, it was wonderful. And I got this at Ulta. It's hard to find this brand. I've also seen it at Sally's. Okay, almost done. For my face masks this week, I'm going to be using these My Beauty Diary masks. And these are those sheet masks that have a sheet that looks so funny. These are wonderful. Um, I have an aloe one. And I have a pearl, pearl powder one. And I get these off Amazon. These feel so good. I have no idea if they do anything, but they feel so good. And I've used, I got a sampler pack one time of these and used all of them. They all feel good. None of them broke me out. Um, it's more of a just pamper yourself kind of thing. Okay, now this face masks, I can't talk today. This face mask, I can actually see a difference. And this is a Corez one again. It's the Wild Rose and Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. And I think they've repackaged this. It doesn't look like this anymore. This is the most wonderful face product I own. I love it. I don't care how much it costs. When I run out, I will purchase it again. It has a heavy, heavy, heavy scent of rose. And it's wonderful. And you will look like you have new skin in the morning if you use this. I'm gonna polish my nails this week. So this was a crazy purchase, but I saw it 
on somebody's nails on YouTube and I instantly became obsessed with it. And it was actually hard to figure out what she was wearing because she didn't say what she was wearing. So I like actually had to go onto her blog and like dig through comments and somebody finally asked her what she was wearing and she answered it on her blog. So this is a Chanel nail polish. I haven't tried it yet. I have no idea the name of it. It's 609 and it's a deep berry plum color. These colors are right up my alley. I love these colors on my nails. These and pinks and reds. Okay, so I'm going to paint my nails. And I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how it performs. I will let you know next week. Okay, and the perfume this week is a flashback. This, it was, this was my first perfume purchase ever when I was 14 years old. Um, it used to be really popular back in the day. Nobody wears it now but old ladies. I never see it in anybody's perfume collection. I never hear anybody talk about it. Um, and it's Giorgio. Does anybody else remember this from the 80s? Yep, yeah, they still make it. And it's still my favorite scent. So that's the perfume this week. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I hope nobody notices that this is day four hair and that I've put in tons of dry shampoo and yeah, maybe that's too much volume.